Hey YouTubers, how big is the sweet spot when you're listening to your music? Well, in my case, uh, I'm going to say it's about as big as my head. Now, of course, we know that depends upon your speakers. It depends upon the room. It depends upon all kinds of stuff. But when I got my speakers somewhat over a year ago, uh, the sound was so much better than anything I'd heard in my room. I didn't spend much time messing with speaker placement. I've been listening to records for the last year. When I bought this chair, I actually spent time shopping. That it fit my body, that my arms on the armrest were comfortable, and the pillow back for the head when I sat and leaned my head back. I was listening perfect, okay? And so, where did I think my sweet spot was? About right here. Well, I wasn't paying attention. Where was it really? <laughs> About right here. When I did my measurements, I probably measured here instead of where my head was. And so, probably would have noticed this sooner, but just recently, and of course this depends upon if you're playing a record that has a lot of holographic image, then these positions make a bigger difference. So uh, the sweet spot is fairly small in my house with my head, and I'm going to have just a little another picture here, but I want to give out a warning, warning, all of you folks that have significant others, do not, I repeat, do not try this at home. Ooh, what am I talking about? I'm talking about cement blocks in your living room with cement pavers on top of the cement blocks. So with my setup here, I did a lot of measurement and it turns out that uh, the sweet spot to get it back here where my head was, I could move those speakers a foot and a half apart. So I moved each speaker about nine inches from where they were. Now before they were sitting on the floor on the concrete paver, well, everything you read tells you your main driver should be about ear level. Well, my ear level is sitting in this chair with my head back is about 40 inches above the floor. And these are sitting on the floor. You could tilt them one way or another, but uh, since I don't have to deal with the WAF, W-A-F, wife acceptance factor, I can just go over to Home Depot and get these concrete blocks, which are inexpensive. And just today, I brought these blocks back because I wanted to raise the speakers up about six inches. They were way below my ear level. And I repositioned the speakers uh, 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 to about 18 inches further apart, and wow, it made a, a, a pretty big difference. And the record I was listening to was this uh, Patsy Klein reissue remastered by Kevin Gray and pressed by Analog Productions at Quality Record Pressings. Oh man. And I listened to it before and after, and it's easy to tell the difference in the, you know, take a look at those concrete blocks. But uh, the whole situation made a difference. I've got hundreds of records I've picked up in the last few years I haven't listened to yet. And now the sound just keeps getting better. Only spending about 10 bucks made a big increase in the sound, getting those speakers positioned properly. So i got to listen to those records I haven't listened to, but i got to go back and listen to about 100 of my favorites. So i got stuff to do. See you all later.